and this is day two's writing lesson. We're still going to be thinking about the story, The Little Red Hen. Um, if you need to hear the story again, just watch yesterday's video. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to remember it all in your head just yet. Using the story, I'd like to add some vocabulary to this grid. I'm going to add my words first and then add some of your own. And we've got three different parts of the chart here. We've got nouns, we've got adjectives, and also verbs. So already in there, we've got hen, little, and sleep. So let's have a look at the words in my list. Nouns, remember people, places, things. Adjectives, describe things like nouns. And verbs are our doing or our action words. Work, what sort of word is work? Well, it actually can be a noun and it can be a verb. It's something you can do, but it's also something you can have. You can have work to do. Red. Where would red go? Red is an adjective. It describes things. You could have a red hen, for example. And finally, dog. Dog is a noun. It's a name of a thing. So here are the words already done. I would like you to add some more. Try and get six words in each box, all to do with the story. They'll help you later in the week. Pause the video while you do that. Later this week, you are going to be writing a letter from the little red hen to explain why she didn't share the bread. Do you think that was mean? Or do you think it was a good choice? What would you have done? I'd like you to write and explain your answer below. And I've got a few sentence starters to start you off. Here's the first one. I think that not sharing the bread was mean, was a good choice, was fair. And then explain why using because. And you could also use this sentence. If I had been the little red hen, then I would have shared the bread. I would have not given the animals any bread because and explain why. So why did the little red hen not share the bread? Do you think it was mean or a good choice? What would you have done? Use these sentences to get started and I'll see you next time.